the Russian people, um, pe with people own problem, mm -hmm. with people with people problem. We not washing up people. Why didn't wash my dishes, my house dishes, or why didn't buy my grocery? You try and like some other um, If I'm talking wrong, I'm sorry. Like you, you're like a driver. And we're we're in the back of the truck, and someone is about to fall from the tr from the truck in the back. And you start washing; otherwise, you're gonna fall. One of, one of us is gonna fall down from the truck. So, when you yell, is it right to uh, get mad to the driver because you tell him you're gonna fall down the truck? I'm it's driving. tricky because what if the passenger doesn't feel he's falling off? He doesn't believe he's falling off. This is the problem. Or what if he feels that the fault is not with him, but with another person, but why is Asher washing me up? Or he's saying, why he has to wash me up? Can he say it nicely? Or can he say it in private or this, or whatever. Doubting what is coming. Or worse, he say, I'm not even falling off. I'm fine. He's seeing wrong. You understand? How does a person come? There are whisperings. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the last surah of Quran al-Kirim is warning us how to protect ourselves, yes? From shaitan, yes? Quran al-Kirim is beginning with Eunz billahi minash shaitani rajim Bismillah rahman rahim And it's ending Talking about shaitans. And ending, talking about shaitan, but the shaitan is not shaitan. The shaitan is what? Huh? Insan. Meaning the shaitan that is coming from insan it is more dangerous than shaitan, shaitan. Shaitan is dangerous. But how many people know that shaitan is inside of us? And how many people know or believe that our ego is worse than shaitan? If you say you have shaitan inside of you, oh, people are going to say, what do I have to do to take it out? I have to read this, I do this. We say you have something jinn inside of you to get so scared, right? So many people, they have shaitans inside of them. And so many, they have their ego that is 70 times more powerful than shaitan inside of them, but they look so good. Or they have it there, the shaitan is saying, they have it there. It's deep inside, but it's growing. You're feeding it. Outside it looks so good. So that one does not believe. It's like a patient. He doesn't believe he's sick doesn't believe it. The doctor is saying, you're sick, you're like this, I have to cut you out of this. Says, no, I don't believe it. You know what I used to believe? Because you're doing to other people, now you're doing this to me. You're not curing me. You're, not do you're just cutting me up. You are wrong. Then instead of looking at the doctor as a savior, you start to look at the doctor as a killer, a murderer. That's why so many, when they turn, they make that turn. They don't just leave quietly. They aim to destroy us. And we've seen it happening with Sheriff Andy. They're aiming to destroy him. People who left us, they're like their their whole purpose of living is to destroy everything here. You understand? So that now that shaitan inside of us, that ego. We must get to know that. We must look at it. We must say, oh, you are like this. Then we must engage in it. It's not that easy. Even if by theory you know that you have, until you go through the training, you will not know. 
So many times people are not trained to. They say, yeah, they're just going to, the ego is going to go crazy. They say, it's okay, just for your own safety, just continue. That they're doing wrong things like this, it's okay. They cannot just squeeze them a little bit like this and then they're going to. We've seen that happening. No? People, we didn't even touch them for seven years. Suddenly with one thing we squeeze, oh, oh. They call us, what names did they didn't leave to call us? We didn't touch them for all these years. We protected them. We advised them, we helped them. When they're in need of help, we're more than happy to help them. If they do wrong things, we cover them. Now, they're doing wrong thing, and we say this is wrong. Oh, they fly off the handle. So that is inside of us. If we are not testing ourselves with it, it will take control of us, it will blindside us. If we're careful, and we're watching, do small things and say, why? What is, what is happening? Why are you being so angry? Why this? And we choke it, then we become stronger. Hmm? So it makes sense or no? I've never seen that. Yeah? Inshallah, this is first for me and for those who want to listen, Inshallah. Be in Jamaat. Don't be alone. Even if you think you're so close to the Shaddis, don't be alone. Because Shaitan does not attack people in Jamaat. Attack, they start attacking when you become alone. Hmm. Of course, being in Jamaat is not just with the body. There are people who are here with their body, but their hearts are very far away. And there are people that they are not here in their body, but their hearts are very close. But be in companionship. And then you can check yourself a little bit here, a little bit there. Inshallah. Is anyone perfect? No. Everyone has their own ups and downs. Everyone has their own wrong things. But we're a jamaat, we're growing. Everyone has their own differences. And then the Holy Prophet is saying the differences in my ummah is a mercy. Sahabi kiram, they have differences. But how do you make these differences to work? That these differences, instead of seeing them as something that is going to break you, it is something that is going to pull you together because what you don't have, that one is different from you, that one has. You look beyond that. I'm seeing sometimes people, they are so judgmental. They're saying, this one is new, is coming. Look, his behavior is bad. Look, his children is bad. Look at this. And they're judging immediately. Were you perfect when you come in? Or then when that one does try to, does to do something, and then people become, eh, he's doing this because of this, doing this because of this. They get jealous. Or they get angry or they get very negative, then they start boycotting that person too. I've seen it happening over and over again. You are not going to win with this. You're going to lose. We suppose people who are coming in, you cannot look beyond their difference. Hmm? Our whole aim, even if whatever they are, let me just speak from my own experience. Anyone who comes here, Christian, Jewish or Muslim, believer or unbeliever, my aim is to make that one to have more love to share family. That's it. It's not about how right I am, how wrong they are. How do I make this one to respect share family, to believe in him? That is my aim. So it doesn't matter what he does to me, to others also. Meaning even new people, because so many people who are new and they have some differences here and there, and if they leave, it's not because of Sheriff and if they leave, it's because of this idiot said something, that idiot said something, yes? So now I'm like, leave all of that. How do I make this person too? <laughs> How are you doing that? Hmm? 
So we have to be careful with the young son, especially for new ones. Those who have been around a long time and they're still acting up and they're still uh, in denial, that's different. Mm. And they still, they do one wrong thing, whoa, so many reasons why they do it. They give soul bets to me. I cannot do this because blah, 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 like this. I say, don't talk to me. Talk to another person. Okay. Start giving soul bets to the other person. I cannot do this. Why is this? Why is this? Not seeing something. They're going to make conspiracy theories. You know? This happened to me because that one doesn't like me and talk to this other one and they make a plan to bring me down. Bray, what are you? You're a kingdom? You're a governor? What do you have that you are so important that whole group of people, they're aiming, conspiring to bring you down? But they are so caught up with things like that. It's still nonsense. You do something wrong, do something wrong, say astaghfirullah, try to do better, clean up your mess. Nobody wants to hear why, <laughs> especially in this way. Yeah. Clean up your mess. They don't want to acknowledge their mess. They want to give reason. Should not be. But art is coming. If we cannot be honest and sincere in these little things that we're doing to each other, how can we be sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How? Then what kind of barat are we going to ask? How clean we're going to be? Hmm. How many excuses we make? Shaykh Andy used to blame other people for the wrongs of other people and to test us. That is what Shaykhs they do. We're not doing that. We're saying, look, you're doing this wrong thing. Clean up. Instead of bearing the burdens of other people, they're going to say, I didn't do this. And then you're not making any progress. Yeah. So this is beyond, yes, this is beyond your zikr. This is beyond your namaz. It's an understanding and trying to change. And then running to change. Not just thinking, oh, I must change, but running to change day by day. If you cannot change, to do something good, then at least don't do something bad. You cannot do anything, then at least don't complain. You cannot do anything, then at least don't just guard your mouth a little bit. Don't be angry a little bit. Tafakur. To meditate for one hour, it is better than 100 years of worship. How many people take time to read themselves? I'm doing this. Why am I doing this? What is the pattern I'm doing? What is the trigger point? I like to use the word trigger. Why use trigger? Trigger is for gun. You don't want to get violent, nothing, and use words like this. You understand? Studying yourself, say, okay, I'm like this. I'm always, this is the pattern. Because shaitan and, and the ego always works according to a pattern. Huh? It doesn't deviate from that. Too. It's always the same. You must study. And then you say, oh, okay. At this point, I can make a choice, but I didn't. Because I didn't make a choice to go right, I always go left. Then you repeat it. The fitna of Dajjal is going to be very great if we are not understanding the fitna of our ego first, we will never understand the fitna of shaitan. Then we will be fooled by the job. Everything comes back to understanding yourself again. May Allah help us, inshallah. Al Fatiha. Amen. Assalamu alaikum.